What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode. This episode should be awesome because I think we're gonna get on the SSN. I think it's time to do that. But before we do, yo, my wife got me this shirt. I'm just gonna say it's dope. It's got like a light brown here and like a cream here. It's like oversized big. I don't know, I think it's fresh. But obviously fresh shirts are not everything we're about here. <coughs> We got the squad, Buzz, I am Quirk, Blaze, Beano, Monkey Man, and Shadow. So, four of these Pokemon are named after people. So, if you want a Pokemon named after you, hit it up. Actually, five, because one in the PC. Level five. One of our one of our little friends. Oh, I forgot we have Manilo in the daycare. So, I think after the SSN, I'll go, because by then... Manolo might be an Ursaring. So we got TikTok, we got Rye Guy is Guy, which was meant to be Fly. And uh, Sir Zugs, rest in peace. It's sad because I intentionally wanted to make sure he had a good Pokemon because in the last run he did not. And uh, it didn't work out that way. There's no Great Balls here, are there? I don't think so. I think Super Potions, though, yeah. How many Pokeballs do we have? Um, we get two more encounters. Actually, we get three encounters this episode. So we're gonna start off with an encounter, actually. And you're probably thinking, wait, if you're going on the SSN, how do you get an encounter? Right here. SSN. So since this is technically a new place, you're allowed to get a Pokemon here. <laughs> a lot of people forget about this one. A Tauros. Sadly, it's only level 5 though. So like, all in all, it's not going to be like the greatest thing. But I mean, if we could have got lucky and got like a, a Gyarados or uh, literally any legendary. But you know, all in all, we take what we can get. And I kind of plan, um, Monkey Man does not have great moves. But I plan on <coughs> always having a uh, Pokemon in the uh, daycare. Because, you know, if something happens, I want to be able to have somebody who, who can potentially fill the gaps. Um, so right now I have Manilo. Manilo is our Teddy Ursa. And just because that evolves to an Ursaring, at least, I probably wouldn't put Tauros in there. But again, we're going to catch Tauros because why not? There's no reason not to have more Pokemon if I can get them. Try to put it to sleep again just to make it easier. <coughs> and now we have Diglett's Cave and we have the Route 24 25 that's over, which would be east of Vermilion. Um, let's go and catch it. So shout out to um, some new subscribers. You guys are going to get uh, a Pokemon named after you. So I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys, uh, obviously, subscribing. And hanging out. So we're going to call you... J... Where's the space? J Garcia. So thank you for subscribing, thank you for interacting with the channel. Oh, no, no, no. Jay Garcia! Alright, you're transferred to the pay save. Oh, you're in box 14, I guess that's where I technically left you. 
Um, you know what? Let's go. Let's go get our encounters first. There's no reason not to get our encounters. So Garcia never died. So Garcia, I can put Garcia back in the main box. Just letting you guys know, I'm not cheating. Route 11, right? Yeah. Energy root. So we got a Pokemon here. These Pokemon should be decent. Victory Bell. Might Victory Bell replace Buzz, our starter? That would be very interesting. I don't know if I could do that. I don't know. My heart, that would hurt my heart a little bit. Um, but Monkey Man should be good here. Because I think Victor Bell's just grass. I don't think it's grass poison. But if this thing only knows Fine Whip, just like Bella the Bell Sprout of our previous runs. Uh, okay, not. Okay. We're just gonna supersonic you. You're gonna end up hurting yourself. That's the plan here. That's the best way for us to do some good damage to you. It's for you. Oh! How did I forget? I got seismic toss. Uh, okay. So you're 25? I don't think. Hit me, thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. I guess we'll go with Shadow then. All right, all right, all right. Should lower my evasiveness. Let's see what a pound does. See, like, I'm playing slow because Victory Bell is a Pokemon that, like, if something happens, Victory Bell is the best Pokemon right now that I have as a backup. So at least I'm adding someone who's very capable. So, and in theory, I might even just keep Victory Bell on the team over Shadow or Monkey, you know? Nice. Let's put Buzz back out there. We're gonna go heal real quick. I'm gonna look at Victory Bell's stats um, after I catch it. I really just banked on that. I was catching right. I like. I just. I just spoke that into existence that we're gonna catch this thing. So it's asleep. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ah, this is gonna be hard. So Victory Bell is a fully evolved Pokemon. But why we are just randomly throwing Pokeballs at this sleeping victory bell. Remember, September 5th, that's Saturday, we have the Backyard Football Series starting. It means every Saturday I will be releasing the next week of the season. I'm doing it week by week, and if it becomes, you know, something that people want, maybe I'll move to another backyard game, or maybe um, I'll try to do a season in a, you know, a whole season season uh, from oh my gosh what am I saying from game one to the Super Bowl in under a month I don't know but we're doing it every Saturday because we don't know if football is really gonna happen they say it is they say it's not they say it is they say it's not um, so I figured we'll do our own college football a little backyard football style remember every Saturday so I appreciate if you tuned in <sighs> I thought I had it I thought if I distracted myself it would like catch it and I wouldn't have to worry about it Let's go! Hype! 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 That's actually so clutch. The fly catcher? 5-7. I'm as tall as Victory Bill. I weigh more than it though. You have a nickname. I do want to give a nickname. I'm going to name it Risky. After Risky, Rufflet. So again, thank you for subscribing. 
to the channel. Oh wait. Well, I was gonna name it Risky, not about that. Risky! We were transferred to the PC, you were not in box 14. Stop, 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 stop. Alright, let's go check out what we're working with. Also, I gotta move them over because I don't want them. I don't. If it's in the same episode, I don't think you guys will uh, think I'm cheating. Cause I'm not. I just caught them. So we got Jay Garcia, and we got Risky. Prevents ability reduction. That's very good. Vine with sleep powder, razor leaf. Okay, so no poison move. But let's let's move Buzz in here. See what we're working with. Oh, Buzz is definitely. I mean, Buzz is also 25 levels higher. What about Shadow though? So Buzz is staying on the squad. That's a fact. I think we're gonna take Risky on the journey with us. It gives me another sleeper, which is Clutch. Oh, I don't want that. And I think having another sleeper uh, could be really important. Now let's go to Diglett's Cave, let's get our third encounter, and then let's go hit up the SSN. Mostly because I want to make sure I finalize the team before we actually do anything. How many Pokeballs do I have? 18, I'm confident with 18. If, the, if this Pokemon takes more than 18 Pokeballs, there's not much I could do anyway. Let's see what we're encountering. A Nido King. Yo. Oh, I forgot these things are level 20. This ain't my no peck. Okay, double kick. That's fine. Okay, Nido King's on the squad. That's a fact. Ah, that's so bad. Okay, that's not that bad, actually. Nice. We're going to switch out. We're going to use Seismic Toss. I should be able to do 50 damage to this thing without dying. We'll obviously tell after the first one. This might be an easy way to get it to the red. Oh, this thing's so weak. This thing is so weak. I guess we'll just throw a Pokeball now. <coughs> so I don't know how else to do it. I guess I could use a crow I could use monkey the crow bat. I don't even need to. Four seven? Nino King, you're so short. Give a nickname to the captured Nino King. Yes. Quick. Two two oh. You're back. Let's go pick up quick. Cause this is actually arguably the best encounter I've gotten. Honestly. Cause Needle King is a dope Pokemon. Now, Risky, I think you're going back to the PC. Thank you for that one trip. Uh, but I feel like I gotta keep Monkey the Crobat. At least as of right now. What are we looking at here? Prevents freezing. Not extremely helpful. Hmm.
Risky, you know what I'm gonna do with you? I'm gonna put you in the the PC, not the PC. I just put you in the PC. I'm gonna put you in the daycare. Because obviously I know I'm gonna lose a Pokemon. I am certain someone will die. And in order to make sure the squad is still strong, having a victory bell as a backup, arguably the best thing I can do. I think that I think that's literally probably one of the best backup Pokemons in this entire game. Especially considering my backups right now are Tangela, uh, Teddy Ursa, a Farfetch'd, a uh, Tauros, and a Muk. I thought the game there. Hey, Ron. Aaron wouldn't have been a bad encounter, but definitely not not nearly as good as a uh, as a Nido King. It should be really close to the end. <coughs> Nido King as an encounter is. I wonder if the Nido King was like the Dodrio and the Aarons are like the Diglets. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, I think that last little path is the way out. Mill Tank. Mill Tank's a nice Pokemon. Too. Come on. A mill tank with speed boost? What is this game? Just let me leave, bro. Bro. You're being very annoying. I'm just trying to get through. Oh my gosh. Was that that hard? I'm gonna fight this, but only after I heal. Yeah, I think I can beat him. Well. That's actually super not good. Oh, never mind. Okay, that doesn't bother me. Buzz, I need you to wake up. Yo, that, that was good. That was some quality singing. So I think we're going to go through here because I think there's items on the other side here. Oh no, it's that guy who wants to trade for like a Mr. Mime or something. So if I have a Pokemon, I, I, I'm pretty sure the Pokemon are randomized too. I think this is where you get the Mr. Mime. Hopefully he wants to trade me like a... Dragonite for like a uh, far-fetched because my guy is guy you are you're getting I'm getting rid of you if I can get a a, a Dragonite for you just letting you know just being honest It's funny because a lot of the Pokemon that I'm encountering are Pokemon I've seen or I've had in other runs like the previous runs of uh if you made it this far, you've probably seen my failed attempts at runs. There are many of them. Oh, let's go. Okay. You're dead. TBH. I wouldn't have mind getting the polygraph either. There's gotta be an item up here. There's like a wide open space, there's gotta be an item there. Okay, whatever. That's where the cut guy is? Oh no, this is the house. A Charmeleon for a Gulpin? You just wasted all of my time? Oh, 
Who would give up a Charmeleon for a Gulpin? Your dad lied to you about the importance of, uh, the value of your Pokemon. Because your Gulpin is not worth a Charmeleon. I'm going to use another Repel because I don't want to deal with Pokemon right now. I want to go on the SSN a little bit. We're going to go heal quick, then we're getting on the SSN. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm done with training and catching Pokemon. We caught our three encounters today. What did we get? We got Tauros, we got Victory Bell, and we got Nidoking. Pretty good. So we're gonna beat the SSN. We're not obviously gonna beat it this episode. Hopefully we'll get it started. We'll beat the SSN. We're gonna head back uh, to Cerulean. We're gonna get our bike. So that's probably gonna be next episode. Um, and then we're moving on. Oh, I forgot. We gotta kick Lieutenant, Lieutenant Surge's butt. That was always a gym. That always annoyed me. Those switches, man. I just hit the switch. All right, let's get it. What you got? I'm a, I am but a solitary traveler. My soul companions are friends and friends are Pokemon I caught on my journeys. I think this person used to have a Growlithe, which I always was like, it's like the first Growlithe you see in the game. A Sneasel. I forgot these guys can have really scary Pokemon. But luckily now, after getting quick, uh, 2 2 0, all my Pokemon now are way more equal level. <coughs> so, like, the late game catches really do make a big difference. Wait, what? You raised its own firepower? You don't have fire moves, brother. There you go. That's alright, we'll take those. Metapod. Um, we're gonna keep you out there, I guess. Let's just let's get a quick kill. <sighs> See, trainers can have really scary Pokemon, but then they can also have Pokemon like Metapod. Oh, that didn't kill. That's actually really funny. I I, I just assumed it would kill. Hopefully, this gives you enough experience. 277, level 25. Fire spin, yes! I used to think fire spin was a little better than this, but if it does it does like lasting damage. So it's not a bad one from when it gets a tanky Pokemon. We're actually gonna move Buzz out of the first spot. We're gonna give we're gonna, let's give a uh, quick some time in the limelight. Hopefully we'll be this entire run of trainers this episode. Oh, I, this is the rest lady. I forgot she existed. Well, that's clutch. What's up, old man? Dude, this shirt's so nice. I love this like, oversized shirt look. I think it's sick. Croconaw! Could have a water type move. Uh, it didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Okay, I think I'd be able to kill it. Because I only have 40 HP. Give me a crit. That shouldn't kill her, because that's a special. Okay. Yeah, risk it for the biscuit. That's how we do it. Curlia. We are definitely switching off for Curlia. Um, again, we'll just give Blaze the XP. <coughs> Let's give Fire Spin a shot. Let's see what that ends up doing. Nice. 
That's what we're talking about. And see, Confusion actually does a number on my team. Needle King, um, Machop, and Gloom. So I do have to be careful when it comes to um, when it comes to psychic Pokemon. Keep an item for me. No hidden items on you, you little turd. Give me a rest. Thank you. Mostly because I do not want Quirk to die. Or not Quirk. Quick to die. Quirk not dying. I'm not worried about him. Cherry pie. Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff's a good Pokemon. Oh, this is intense. This is a three... Potential three-person room? <laughs> Macha! Nice. As long as I'm faster, it's a kill. What? Oh my goodness. This game man is scaring me. They can't just give me they can't just give me easy kills. They got they gotta make it hard. Snatch What's up? I collected these Pokemon from around the world. You probably did, because it's a Nuzlocke. So you probably got some sweet Pokemon. Tauros, nice. We like fighting Tauros. Oh no. Oh my gosh, let's go. Let's go. For a second, I thought Rage was a move that would happen right away, and I didn't really have any options, because no matter who I put in, they would get booty stomped. But I need it. Oh, only get one up one HP? Good defense, though. Really good defense. Lydia? We'll, we'll stay out there. I think Peck should do fine. Wow! Lydia is pretty strong. Wow, okay, we're switching out. This thing is strong. What the heck? Um, let's give I Am Quirk some love real quick. Alright, so it looks like we're finishing this room. Maybe we'll be able to explore one more room. Comet Punch. Good thing I switched out. That probably would have killed. Wow. Looks like we could probably get one more room done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. We're gonna get we're gonna get one more room done. I think we finished this row though. So I'm just gonna heal. Cause can't lose anybody. Even though I do got risky in the PC. So risky's looking good. I think I can go down the right side. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna right side, see what happens. We go down. Metal powder! Alright, so it looks like a lot of these rooms don't really mean anything to us. Oh, a lemonade! Let's go! Hey! 
All right, these are the last two battles and for this episode. This episode's been great so far, but last time I've said stuff like that, we have lost either entire runs or just individual Pokemon. So uh, I will not be, be saying all that. Fake out is nothing. Yeah, use hearted you little acorn looking. Ain't nothing gonna stop me. That should be another level. Let's go. Yeah, see, those are the good stats. Learning through. Let's, let's learn from Thrash. I know I'm gonna. If I know you're gonna beat the Pokemon, Thrash is good, you know? <coughs> oh, that was it? That's all you had for me? One Pokemon? Come on, mate. I wonder if there's a Pokemon a item where that guy was standing. So that's what I'm gonna check. Because again, I have no idea. Three Pokemon. Deoxys. Okay. All right, let's settle in. Of course, the last encounter of the day literally has to be someone who could potentially have moves that could wreck me. Um, we're gonna go Blaze again. Because again, Psychic stuff wrecks me. Okay, if it only has Rapid Nightshade, I'm chilling. I could go for the fire spin, but I think I'm gonna go with the ember for the guaranteed hit. You know? Oh, nice. We'll go with a quick attack now. Withdrew him! Wow, Sailor Duncan's a genius. Yo, he's got the strats. He's going with a with a drizzle, then he goes to drought. Oh my gosh. Relicant is part water. I'm like 99% sure. I think it's water ground. Okay. Buzz, why don't you have solar beam? Alright, it's not gonna kill. If it doesn't crit, we're fine. Because I should be able to get a good chunk of health back. If my typing of Relicanth is correct. Oh, I was very much correct. Let's go. <laughs> very much knew what I was doing. We're going to use Deoxys, so we're going to go... We're going to put Blaze back out there. The quick attack should finish this. Dude, he's got all the elements. I think the one thing about the elements I don't like is that it just takes time. It's just an animation thing. <laughs> Let's go, it's level 26. Balloon? No, we're saying no. Balloon, one of my favorite Pokemon. In Ruby version, I would always get a Balloon. Like, a, it's a good, it's a good Pokemon, but you also can get it so early. You know, Shroomish can be a little bit of a struggle, because I think it only knows Absorb for a long time. I think it learns, like, Stun Spore and maybe Sleep Powder, but I, I'm almost certain it does not learn, um, any, uh, any, uh, any other attacking. Oh, I think it learns Tackle. It's Tackle, Absorb, Stun Spore, and maybe Sleep Powder. It, it was always a struggle having a balloon. Dude, why is that leech life doing so much? Alright, let's go. Our squad came through. Squad came through. So what we're going to do right now, I'm going to run up to that lady. We're going to heal. And I'm just going to talk about every everything that happened to Let's actually check back here. Okay, no item. So today, we ended up catching th all three of our encounters. We got a level 5 Tauros. We got a level 15 Victory Belt. And we caught a level 20 Nidoking in Diglett's Cave. And that's the only Pokemon that we added to the squad. But 
Thankfully, we were able to add two more Pokemon that, again, that were subscribers. Thank you guys again for that. We were able to add you guys to the game, so you are in the files. And hopefully I don't need you, but Lord knows the way I play Nuzlocke, I'm going to need you. Either way, guys, this is the squad as of right now. All around looks pretty good. Monkey Man does need some training. I, I, I realize I totally neglected him. But we're, we're going to get to that. And Bino, close to evolving. I want to get that too. Uh, either way, this is the end of the episode. Hope you guys have a lovely day. Remember, this series every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then on Saturdays, we're doing backyard football. All right, it's super fun. Make sure you check it out. Dose.